Coming to you live from the heart of America. Hello, everybody, and happy Friday. I'm writing, 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 writing in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. How's everybody doing? Welcome, welcome to the show one more time. Thank you. Thank you for being here, everybody. And uh, actually, by the way, before I forget, last night we had a great meetup here. And all of a sudden, this is too bright. I don't know why. Let me let me turn on some lighting here. Maybe it equalizes the, the lighting. You know, Mini, Mini Tini 2 was lit up like a TV studio. This one, not so much. But um, what can you do? Uh, in any case, um, we're here. Uh, and uh, as I wanted to do, look where we are, this is a, a beautiful campground. Uh, it's, more like an, it's more like an RV resort. Very close to... Uh, we're in Kansas City, for those of you who, who didn't realize. And uh, last night we had a great meetup. It was so great to, to get to meet so, so many of you. We had like... Uh, a great turnout. I don't know. Look, there's a roller coaster. We missed it. There, a great turnout. We had like how many? 40 people? 40? Almost 40. Almost 40. Uh, I mean, in the picture, you can only count like 26, but some people left after the picture. Some people came after. So um, uh, it was great. I want to thank, uh, thank Kevin, if you're in here, uh, for organizing it. I mean, Kevin even brought food. So th that was great. So now I have a dilemma. I have three beers to taste here. I think I know which one I'm going to taste. Uh, but we had the meetup at this place, Stockyard uh, Brewing Company. That's where we had it. And they have a black IPA, which actually was really good. It, it almost feels like a stout, really. And then a couple of people came and, and, and brought beer, brought me beer. This one is called the Philosopher's King India Pale Ale, which uh, actually this is the one that I'm going to have today. I think I, I was gonna sub submit it to a vote, but I think this is just because it is larger and it's a double IPA, and I only get to drink one IPA at the at the at the live stream here. But that's the one I'm gonna have. Uh, and before I start, to, you know, inter interacting with some of your comments and whatnot, let me show you what I got also at the at the live at the at the meetup last night. Well, first of all, I got a new sticker for Minitini One, and I know you're here in the chat, so I got the sticker from 61 Caddy on Route 66, and uh, that that's their their name here on YouTube and on Instagram. So check them out. And then a uh, gentleman who was there too, and he the, the one who bought me the the black IPAs too, he got me this T-shirt from Stockyards, which I was gonna wear it today, to be honest. But look at the T-shirt that I have today, you know. I thought this would be uh, more appropriate. I bought it at the, at the campground store here, actually, and I liked it. It has the, the city skyline, and uh, I like it. It's very nice. So I might wear this one next week. Now, where were we? And uh, as I said, I think the internet is going to be good tonight, uh, or today, actually. It's 5 p.m. here. I can't imagine when we start doing this from the West Coast at 3 p.m. That's going to be really early, but uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. In Kansas City, and I was uh, I was kind of uh, uh, curious because the Internet in here is fantastic in all the networks. <laughs> I mean, when, when T-Mobile is the best network, you know, you are in an odd place. And apparently Kansas City is like, one of the nodes for the internet backbone. I was, uh, I, you know, I googled internet backbone map, and this is like one of the big nodes, like where all the all the wires uh, converge. So um, makes sense being the, the the largest city, like smack in the middle of the country. I mean, we are almost the same distance to the Atlantic, to, uh, to the Pacific, or to the Canadian border, as to the Gulf of Mexico. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, so I'm gonna start uh, getting to some of your comments here, and uh, oh man, there's a there you go, Kevin Bentley here. 
you're welcome. Thanks for visiting the KC Pelican Heads, and I'll be back. I'll be back again because let me tell you what it 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 has to be my probably my top ten cities at this point. It's uh, I like it. I like it. I uh, it's clean. It feels safe. It's um, I don't know. It's there's something about Kansas City about being in the middle of the country. And today we toured uh, uh, a little bit of the city. We, we went to the to the World War One Memorial. You get a, so I say, commanding view from up there. I was going to do a Pelican Head update, and I totally forgot to do it. So uh, you're going to have to wait for the actual video. I, I have pictures. I'm going to put picture on Instagram in a couple of days. Uh, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Uh, they, they have a, a, a street car that goes through downtown. We went to to the to the Steamboat Arabia, which is a, a, a steamboat that sank in the 1800s, and they excavated it. And uh, by the way, by the time they excavated it, the, the Mississippi, the, the Mississippi, the the Missouri River had shifted, and it was in like like a swampy kind of land, like mud. And uh, all the stuff that they got from there, it's like a, like a time capsule. It, even better than the Titanic, because the Titanic is like from 19, uh, you know, the, the early 20th century. And this is from the mid eight, uh, 19th century. So very cool to see. And it was like a cargo ship. So they had like all the cargo there. Anywho, young Dave. Hey, Robert, happy Friday from sunny and hot San Jose. Thank you, young Dave. And since I'm going to start answering your questions and your comments. I'm going to crack this one open. And this is from Boulevard Brewing Company, which is a, which is a, that a brewery which we might visit tomorrow. It seems to be like the largest um, brewery. And I believe it was, was the first microbrewery west of the Mississippi or something like that, or in the Midwest. Um, I forget the exact data, but it, it's important for, for a reason like that. Oh, this is excellent. To the person who brought it to the meetup, thank you so much. Uh, Mark, the weekend traveler. Hello, Robert, from northeast of Toronto, 40 minutes north of your weekly color, Dylan. There you go. Uh, and at some point, at some point, I'm going to get back to the, the great land of Canada. David Hans, it was great to meet you last night down at the Stockyards Bar. It was great. It was it was such a great meetup. It's, a, it's such, such a great bunch of people as the Pelican Heads usually are, and we all got together. And it's it's like we're all in the same frequency. We all like to travel. We all uh, not everybody had like uh, RVs or travel trailers, but uh, everybody had the passion for travel and the passion for for doing it now. You know what we can. And not wait. And Susie Parrish, uh, hello, Robert and Ileana. Thank you. Ily's right here across the the, the the dinette from me. I think she's she's doing some work. She's become a workaholic. And now that we're on the road, she works more than <laughs> she worked at the office. Alonso Flores, te mando un abrazo desde Hermosillo. Saludos, Hermosillo, Mexico. Thank you so much. Eh, eh, Steven Acosta. Hello, Robert. TGIF, we're coming up on July. Isn't that the anniversary of the present mini tini keeping or getting another prototype? I don't know. We haven't spoken about it yet, to be honest. Uh, and it doesn't look like I'm going to get back to Indiana until probably August <laughs> uh, at the rate I'm going. By the way, we have a plan now. It's a different plan. We're still going to do Lewis and Clark, but there are several detours. And uh, yeah. But it's uh, in your local water, watering hole watching today. What's uh, my local watering hole? Hmm. I'm curious. Remember to thank the for the other meetup. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's right. Because the last live stream was... Uh, the last meetup was... was but, yeah. By the way, yeah. It's all about the meetup that was yesterday. That's the one fresh in my memory. But... And last Saturday, we had a great meetup in St. Louis, too. So I want to thank everybody that came to the St. Louis meetup as well. Um, that one was great, too. We had, uh, actually, I got so many recommendations for St. Louis. that I'm, I'm going to have to go back to St. Louis because we didn't get to see everything that was there to see. We, we, we had one crummy weather day, too. So that, that kind of... Uh, 
the, yeah, yeah. And thank Lilian and Christine as well for for organizing that one and for getting us that those beers. Yeah, that was a great. A, Christopher also has a suite. I don't know much about Kansas City, but isn't the evil evil can evil museum around there? I don't know. Maybe you know more than I do, Christopher. Uh, but I'm gonna. There's uh, you know uh, Google. <laughs> I'm gonna Google it. Uh, howdy from Midland, Texas. Hello there. The nation's capital was almost in Missouri. That is that correct? I didn't know that. That Boulevard cold snack looks good, but yeah, it is. It is really good, actually. Uh, Keith Ratchet. Happy Friday, River from Cleveland, Georgia. Weather is awesome today. Cheers. It's good here too. The weather is good. I mean, it's a little cloudy now. This this morning was like not a cloud in the sky. Very nice, but it's it's very hot. It's it reminds me of Miami almost uh, as hot as it is. And when we did we, we we parked somewhere and then we walked. We took the tro the the the, the streetcar and then we walked again. And by the time we got back, you know, it's uh, you feel it. Thank you, Karen. The breeze for that super sticker. Thank you. Thank you with the purple heart. Thanks. I really appreciate it. A upstate camper van. Love it up there. Whereabouts are you? We are in Kansas City, Missouri. A, oh, we had some barbecue today also. That was great. Jack, uh, Jack's... Uh, yeah, there, there's a... I think it's a cardinal on top of that pine tree. I don't know if you, can, yeah, you can't see it. This camera, for some reason, the outside camera has like really low resolution. I don't know what's going on. Uh, uh, Alicia Boykin Brown. I love to visit microbreweries and IPAs are my favorite. Have you cataloged all your visits and brews that you have tried? That would be interesting. It would be. Um, Definitely not that organized at keeping records and keeping track of of every single brewery that I've done. I mean, um, at some point, maybe there will be a technology that I will like look in, into all my videos and uh, and you know gather that information. I don't know that would be cool, right? Uh, I am also glad that big beer companies have a little competition. I'm glad that some beer, big beer companies are starting to make, you know, like also like IPAs and other tip types of beers that they didn't make before. So that's good. Uh, Colin McSherry, I will be visiting Kenobi. Is Kenobi? Is that like the, the, nothing to do with Obi Wan Kenobi, right? Uh, Lake Park theme park near Manchester, New Hampshire. Manchester, New Hampshire. Yep. Nice town, Manchester. Chase Bauman. Hey, Robert, first time live viewer from Midland, Texas. Is there a glitch in the Matrix? I think there are. Yeah, Midland, Texas. But thank you. Thank you for being here. I thought there was someone earlier also from Midland, Texas. So, Hakim Olajuwon. Uh, good evening. Mm -hmm. Why not put down slabs at Pelican before you add overhead covers? Would that, wouldn't that help prevent rusting under carriage? Probably. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm thinking of just doing like uh, millings. I, I don't want to put like concrete slabs. That would be prohibitively expensive and probably not worth it. But I'm thinking of putting millings down. Um, so, yeah. Natalie Driscoll, hopefully we can make a meetup one day. Well... There will be a Sydney meetup or a, or a Melbourne meetup or a, somewhere down there someday. I, I am sure of it. Okay, let me reset to the chat here real quick. Oh, the chat is going faster than I could than I could ever uh, keep up with. But Stephanie Dean, thank you for the super chat. Every little bit helps towards gas. Thanks for your videos. Well, thank you for that whole gallon of gas. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's, uh, I just read this morning that that's the, the national average right now, at $5. It is about uh, 4 60 around here. Uh, it was uh, 5 uh, 20 or 5 30 in Illinois. But hey, you know what? I'm, I'm going to keep on traveling and. Uh, um, 
South Dakota, come here. Well, South Dakota is coming soon. South Dakota is coming soon. That's uh, I'm thinking Monday. We're gonna start the trek north. And uh, and uh, hold on. Hey, Dookie Chips. Uh, okay, Kenobi Lake Party in Salem, New Hampshire. Okay, I was gonna do something. Obi Wan Kenobi series has been pretty good. I haven't been. I haven't had time uh, to watch. Even though I'm paying for Disney Plus, I uh, I never watch it. But I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I, you know, it's, uh, or or stop paying for it or start watching it. Uh, are you going to make it to Omaha ever so briefly? Yes, I don't. I don't have any any meetups uh, planned um, for Omaha yet. Uh, I might spend one night or two nights. It depends how early in the day I get there. Uh, but I don't know yet. I've been to Omaha twice. And uh, I don't want to spend too much time in Omaha on this particular trip. And I believe the, uh, the Lewis and Clark Landing in downtown is currently closed be due to construction. So if it is closed due to construction, I may just do some of the sites nearby and, uh, and keep on going towards Sioux City, which is where I do want to stop at the Floyd uh, Memorial there, which uh, Floyd was the, the only one. Uh, the, the, the only casualty of the Lewis and Clark uh, expedition, and he died of appendicitis, of all things, which is uh, kind of unusual and, and, and sad at the same time. Armando Correa, thank you for that super chat. Hey, uh, Robert and Illy and Mom, just checking in, busy putting my pool online. Safe travels. Your pool online. No, well, thank you for the super chat. Ely is right here. I don't know why she's not monitoring the chat. She's getting some work done. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, thanks again. David Hunts. Uh, a technical question. We watched your video from the Natural Wonders Bridge. What type of camera was that that looks like a drone following you around? And that would be the Insta360. I don't have it handy right here with me. It's back there. But um, it's a, it's an Insta360 camera, and what it does, uh, you know, it has two cameras, and it captures everything around it. But somehow it stitches the, the part of the camera where the selfie stick is located, and it kind of makes it disappear electronically. Actually, it's amazing technology. The first time I saw it, I'm like, I have to get me one of these. <laughs> and uh, I mean, it's not good for everything, but it's, it's a good effect for certain things like. Uh, like hikes and stuff like that. A Young Dave Boulevard's double white IPA is tasty stuff. I like the logo on the uh, the trailer, on the label, on the motto is Twister Proof. Uh, yes, I think we're gonna go by Boulevard tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see if we have time. But I would love to visit because last when I was here last time it was around this same time of the year, but it was uh, it was uh, 2020. Not a good year to be going into breweries and doing tours and all that. So. Right now, you know, it's uh, we're ninety percent, ninety nine percent back to normal, so it's it's uh, it's good. This is pretty good stuff too. Putting pull online, I'm confused. I'm kind of confused too. I mean, um, Boats, Siswova. I'm still pinching myself about getting new Airstream Base Camp 20X. So excited to travel to Michigan. Well, congratulations on that uh, Airstream Base Camp. And Lane Shaw. Hey, Robert, on the next Military Lounge, can you sing I've Been Everywhere that Johnny Cash and others have sang? Yeah, I haven't been everywhere yet, but. Hmm. Uh, but I'm trying. I'm working on it. Dookie chips. How much? How much does the original Lewis and Clark expedition cost? I don't. I don't. I mean, it's in the book that I'm reading. They they pretty much got a blank check from Thomas Jefferson to buy whatever they needed for the expedition. So, uh, Dookie chips. Hey, Ely Sandra says hola. You're not getting in the chat? Why not? I'm doing something at work. Oh, OK. 
Okay. She's doing something for work. Uh, Casita RV Live. Only got a second driving. Just wanted to say hi. Hey, Casita RV Live. Greetings from, from Kansas City, the heart of America. Uh, have you ever visited Newfoundland? Not yet, but uh, it was in the plans of, for 2020, and it's still in the plans. Uh, Paul Culbertson. Thank you for the super chat. Another gallon of travel juice. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Hey, look who's here. Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto. <laughs> uh, Ramin Passion, a nice shirt. Traveling Robert, love the color. Yeah, it's very nice, and I like the material, too. And, you know, I just got it this morning, actually. Was it this morning or was it yesterday? Yes. You know, time time is, uh, is a strange thing when you're on the road. Just finished reading the book, Undaunted Courage, based on the Lewis and Clark expedition. I enjoyed it a lot. It's your first, it's your first Lewis and Clark episode out this Sunday. No, nah, not quite. Actually, this Sunday is Monticello, which is out of the uh, trip with mom, the most Lewis and Clark related episode of them all. And that's, that's going to be the... No, Monticello is coming out? Yes. Uh, I'm, right now, I'm editing the, the, the final episode. But um, but it's going to be a while until uh, you get to see like the first real related to Lewis and Clark episode, which is probably going to be Harper's Ferry. And we're still over a month away from that. Um, I mean, we did a couple of things. We, we, we made our way north a little slowlier or slower than uh, I was uh, uh, Anticipated, but you know, we went to we went to Gatlinburg and and Pigeon Forge. We visited our friends Roberto and Sulema in, in Waynesville. We uh, yeah, we visited uh, our family in Atlanta. We we will spend a couple of days at the beach. Alicia Bo Boykin Brown, thank you for that super chat. Here's another gallon. Keep up the terrific videos. Mom and I watch each each one. Oh, well, thank you, thank you so much, and. Uh, Barry81 Jones, thank you for that super chat. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, uh, Barry81 Jones. And uh, and it's been a great trip so far, by the way. We've seen a lot. I, I've stuck to the Lewis and Clark route, but we've, we've seen other things as well. You know, like if I come to Kansas City, I'm going to try to see as, as much as possible. Yeah, you know. Mm, 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 mm. Let me see, let me go back here. Hey Robert, is Asheville, North Carolina worth visiting? This is from Colin McSherry. Is Charlotte a nice travel destination? Charlotte. Uh, I like Asheville. Asheville is like... Uh, I don't know, like San Francisco meets Appalachia. You know, it's a it's a very very eclectic town that way. Great food, good ambience, and I haven't spent enough time there to like you, you know make a full assessment of it. But you have the 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 the, the estate, the the Biltmore Estate, which is like the, um, the I think it's the, the the largest private residence in the United States. And Charlotte is nice too. Charlotte, you you have the the NASCAR Hall of Fame, and I haven't explored much, to be honest. Uh, in Charlotte, north of Charlotte is where old Kia died, and before that, I spent one day with our friend uh, Brian Wood, originally uh, the RV in Illust Illustrated, and now it's uh, his YouTube channel is the, the Woods, the Woods Online. I kind of liked RV in Illustrated better, to be honest, but uh, uh, it's, it's his channel, and, you know, but uh, uh, safe travels, Two, heading out in the morning to Cloudland Canyon and the Smoky Mountains in our micro mini for two weeks. Hope for some cooler weather than South Florida. I hope so too, man. And I hope I, the, the, I like the, the picture of your micro mini in your in your profile picture there. I'm really hoping that we hit a little bit of the cooler weather farther north, but so far it doesn't look that way. <laughs> it's like. It's like a like a heat wave here. 
there is another steamboat wreckage just outside Omaha, the Bertrand. And uh, by the way, I hear that they're, they're going to move this, uh, the the Arabia. They're going to move it to St. Charles, which is a lovely little town, by the way. We we, we went to St. Charles a couple of days ago. Uh, Ingrid Larson, thank you for that super sticker. Thank you so much. Where did you stay while in Asheville? We stayed at the Asheville East KOA. It was nice. Our neighbors, not so much, but the KOA itself was nice. We were recently in Asheville, and my husband enjoyed an IPA. Yeah, Asheville is a beautiful town, and I want to go back at some point. Dan Sullivan from KC. I know where you are. Go ride the coaster behind you. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to make it to the to the park. There's so much to see in the city. We just, you know, decided to stay here. And actually, some of the people at the meetup were mocking me for staying at this campground. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there are much, much uh, more beautiful natural places around here. But let me tell you, this is one of the, as, as, as RV resorts go, you know, city campgrounds with all the amenities. This is probably one of the better designed RV resorts we've stayed at. I mean, all the sites have relative privacy, like they've, they have these hedges around your picnic table, so you're, it, it is very private. They have trash cans every other site, and uh, it's, everything is very clean. It seems almost brand new. They have like the real expensive pedestals, the ones that look like a little house, and it has like on both sides connections and whatnot. It's, uh, and all the pads are very level and concrete pads, all of them. I like it. For, for what it is, you know, I'm not going to be camping and making campfires or anything like that. It's too hot for that anyways. I I think it's... I, I would give this place a top 10... Top 10 campgrounds we ever stayed at, to be honest. As far as just the... Not campground, RV, RV park. As far as RV resort, this has to be in the top 10. It's very nice. William Brody Brody, thank you for that super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, Karen DeVries, my daughter's Jeep group is eating jeepers and heading to Helen, Georgia and Unicoi. Uh, I want to get to Unicoi. Uh, Helen, Georgia, I'm going to give it a second chance one of these days. When we were there, we didn't have a good time, but it was Oktoberfest. It was full of people. Uh, the, the service wasn't very nice, but we got to give it a second chance one of these days. Donovan Davis, oh my gosh, thank you for that. Su oh, I lost my voice. Super chat. I got emotional. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, long time viewer. The Midland, Texas guys are watching you together tonight. Um, keep up the great work. Thank you so much. And uh, and from Chase Bauman, thank you, thank you too for that super chat. Thanks for motivating myself and my family to, to, to drive to the West. Enjoy the videos. Yeah, and uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you both. And uh, driving to the West is one of those things that... And even though this trip has been great up until this, you know, Kansas City, it's been great. Don't get me wrong. But I kind of feel like the trip is starting to begin now when we... because. Kind of Kansas City is where things start to change and you feel like you are more in the West, more like in, you know, cowboy country. I don't know how to call it, you know, the, the Great Plains. And uh, it's that part of the country, look, I kind of, some people call it flyover country. And uh, I, I really like it. I really, I really like the, the, the people are great. It's very clean. It's, uh, I don't know. And the anticipation that in a week or so we're going to be in South Dakota and then North Dakota and then the Badlands and then Montana. And then we might make a return loop because there are certain things that we want to do. But hey, I'm not in any particular hurry to get to, to the Pacific. And uh, we'll see. We'll make it there though this year. Um, John, possible. Hey, Robert, me and my wife are flying to Pensacola, Florida on June 20th to visit my brother for 10 days. In your opinion, what are this, uh, this, some things that I should see or things that I should not miss? And believe it or not, we've never actually been to Pensacola. 
but you're very close to the Alabama border, so check out Perdido Beach. I mean, if uh, if you if you like a cool bar, Florabama is one of those places that it's right there on the Alabama side. And I hear the beaches are great. I hear, I mean, but I, I have never really been to Pensacola. It's one of those places that eludes me, you know, like. Uh, uh, one of these days, I, and I'm thinking like the next theme that I'm going to do, I'm going to do like, I'm thinking of doing like a, a, a series in each state at some point. And when I do my Florida series, I have I do have to do Pensacola, right? Uh, Oscar Alvarado, that's an awesome RV resort. We were just there on our visit to Kansas City. It's one of our favorites. Yeah, this place is, is, is well made. It's well designed. I mean... There's no other way to put it. Whoever made it has, I'm sure, has made many other RV resorts and know what they're doing. When okay, here's simple things: the sewer, the sewer outlet or inlet. I guess inlet will be the word. Is as low to the ground as it can be, and that's important. This, those are the little things that are important. Some places. Uh, the, the the sewer uh, outlet is sticking up this much of the ground, you know, and and then you're you're dumping uphill. Uh, Mr. Roboto, domo arigato, Mr. I already started reserving campgrounds for our spring 2023 trip. Fort Wilderness, Fort Wilderness booked. Yeah, that one you have to book way in advance. That's for sure. Hello, Mireya Pineda, and uh, I hope. Uh, Chamberlain and Dignity statue is on your plan. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. Were you able to book RV spots on the go? Everything is booked in California on weekends. Um, weekends, uh, question mark. I haven't booked California yet. I'm kind of booking on the go. And to be honest, it may be gas prices. It may be, I don't know. But it hasn't been as crowded as I was expecting. I mean, yeah, this place filled up now. Now is the weekend, and it kind of filled up. But I was able to make a reservation, and I, I made it like four or five days ago. It wasn't like like last minute, and um, it's not like a like a month ago when we went to Savannah that we had to book something over an hour away because there was nothing. So um, I don't think it is as bad as 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 uh, they were predicting, you know. And as I said, gas prices may have something to do with it. You know, people are not traveling as far away as from, from home as they used to. Uh, hi, Robert. Are you planning to visit San Diego on this trip? Uh, did you mean San Diego by any chance? And if it is San Diego, a uh, no. We're not going to make it that far south. I, I mean, you never know, but I doubt it very much. Uh, P51, hi, we're going west later in the year over the pond from the UK. Hey, welcome, welcome. We had a, a couple from the UK at the at the Cincinnati meetup a, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, and they're doing something like that too. They're, they're staying for a month doing Route 66 and all kinds of things. So, hello, Paolo Delgado. Hello, hello there. And... Uh, A girl driver heading to Rickwood Caverns in Alabama next week. Have you been? No, we haven't been there yet. Let me know how it goes and if it is worth uh, visiting. Uh, Keith Ratchek, uh, I live vicariously through your videos. Enjoy your travels. So oh, thank you. <clears throat> uh, Wendy Hill, highly recommend Pensacola. It's beautiful. I, I've heard, I've heard great things. I, I might do it this summer, actually, because when it comes to beaches, I'm like summer person. I like to I like the water to be like bath water, to be honest. I'll take cold water. I mean, I, I'm a be I don't go to the beach as much as I would like to. I'm, I'm, in a different life, I would be a different beach bum, but um, but you know, I'll 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 go in relatively colder water too. Uh, James Ness, when you go to South Dakota, stop by Spirit Mound outside outside Vermilion. Lewis and Clark stop there on their way through. I do believe I have that marked on my map, but I'm gonna double check. When at the Badlands, check out Waldrug, nice little tourist stop. I was there back in 2019. I didn't like it as much, but then again, I wasn't. 
I mean, as, as much as I like to travel and I'm, I'm, I'm usually in an, in an exploring kind of mood, I'm the explorer in me. Sometimes, some days you're off and you don't, you're, you're off. You're just traveling through uh, and I didn't think much of the of wall drug, but since we're going to be in the area at some point, not as, as early as I thought we would be, but we're going to be in the area. I'm going to give it a, a second try and, and check it out. And uh, yeah. Do you plan to visit the Corn Palace in South Dakota? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, man. So the, the chat is going so quickly. We will be in Yellowstone in mid-July. Any chance you'll stop by Yellowstone? I would love to. And uh, let me look at my calendar real quick. Now, mid-July, that's the big detour in our trip. I do want to attend the Winnebago Grand National Rally. And that's happening. In, I have it marked here on my calendar, July 13th through the 17th. So we're going to make a big detour towards Forest City, Iowa. I mean, it's a two-day drive nonstop, probably $500 worth of gas. <laughs> but uh, I, I do want to wanna meet up with the, with the Winnebago folks and, and see everybody. And it's a big party. It's the big Winnebago yearly party. And I, I want to be there. And represent and whatnot. So, C Zamora, thank you for that super chat. How's it going? It's going great. It's going great. Uh, we, we're having a great time here in Kansas City. And uh, as you recall, I was here in 2020, as I said earlier in the in the broadcast. But it was like at the height of the pandemic, and I didn't want to do any indoor things. And and that's the thing. There are a lot of museums and a lot of cool stuff to do here. That. Uh, that would have been either in, in I'm not gonna say um, potentially dangerous, inappropriate, whatever, whatnot. You know, uncomfortable. I I didn't want to do it uh, in the middle of 2020, and now we're back, and now we're doing all the stuff that that I thought would be cool to do. Like probably we're probably gonna do Boulevard Brewing tour. We're probably gonna visit a couple more museums. I'm actually interested in that. A TWA, they have a TWA museum. This used to be the TWA headquarters. This is when they, you know, the the the, the planes would refuel halfway across the country, and um, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy that too. And the big James Late celebrating two months of uh, membership of being a chief Pelican head. Thank you so much. Thank you always for your support. As I said, um, I was do a, I was going to do a Pelican head update today, but I. Totally forgot about it, and then I didn't want to climb the stairs again <laughs> to, to go back to the to uh, bless you. Thank you. had a sneeze. <laughs> uh, 61 carry on route 66. Hey, Robert, really so glad to meet you at the KC meetup. Are you going for a swim after this? Maybe we we will see it on an upcoming YouTube video. Probably not. That I was tempted to go into the pool, but. Um, we'll see. Um, it's 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 hard. Actually, I was gonna do the the live stream from our campsite here outside outdoors, and I'm like, I'm getting a good enough view from my window. So um, no, we're gonna do it inside with our with our Truma Aventa air conditioner here. That uh, complete the stage. Thank you for that super chat. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. Uh, all the super chats and all the support and you just do you, you watching the videos and uh, and and especially at the meetups you know you I get to, to talk to you in person and uh, I really do want to uh, to attend more of this uh, uh, j5729 and red Jaguar 100 say uh, bless you really. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Hey, all Pelican heads, raise your hand if you have met up with Ili and Robert. It's great. Hey, well, we met up last night, so cheers. Jeffrey DiBartolo, yes, TWA, my dad worked for that airline. Yeah, and I heard about it, uh, you know, many years ago. I mean, Kansas City has been in my, in my you know, satellite, what do you call it, my, um, it's not satellite. In my radar 
that's the way I was looking for. For a while now, for for a pretty long time, I think I've heard about it in the Amateur Traveler podcast probably five years ago, and they mentioned the Arabia and the TWA Museum and all that. So, uh, and uh, I keep, I keep, uh, you know, I, I, I keep, you know, discovering new points of interest around here. So, uh, oh man, this beer is good. It's giving me, a... excuse me. Thank you. Um, uh, uh, one guy, one girl fishing. Can you sing the free my RV song for my wife? I'm riding, riding in my RV wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Hakim Olajun, uh, traveling Robert, when do you think you will hit up California? I don't know, probably late July. If uh, late July, early, uh, you know, I didn't want to get to the West Coast in August because they call it Fogust because of all the fog in the mornings, but this trip got delayed. As everything, you know, no, 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 nothing ever a. Uh, 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 in travel, especially unless you micromanage and and, and um, travel in a rush like I used to and uh, and um, like many people do, um, you know it's uh, it's like I don't have a set date yet. I know if I, at some point I have to return to Miami, obviously, but uh, I'm really trying not to rush this trip. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Say hey, everybody. Say hello to my mom. Hello, greetings. Thank you to the production moderators. Hi, Armando Correa. Thanks for the greetings. Love, peace, mom. Everybody say hello to my mom. And uh, we were in um, Big Jim's late. We were in Kansas City on Sunday and drive down the Kansas Turnpike through the Flint Hills. It was a beautiful drive through pasture lands. How do we become pelican heads? Well, everybody's pelican head. Everybody who watches the channel is a pelican head. Now, if you want to be a chief pelican head, uh, there's a button somewhere down there that says join. And uh, and that's how you become a chief pelican head. It's, it's, uh, it's five bucks a month. Uh, Google keeps a part and I keep the rest. And yeah. It's, um, and then you get access to, to videos early. And uh, sometimes I do blooper. I haven't done a blooper like in a long time. I haven't done a, like a Zoom meeting. I used to do Zoom meetings. I have to start doing those again because those were a lot of fun. And, you know, getting to meet the chief pelican. Hence that. That's how I met Anthony Giordano. I met uh, Andrew and Monica. Many, many, I, 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 must, I haven't seen Andrew and Monica in a while. Anyway, anyway, I, I, I digress. But I met a lot of you, you know, face to face that way. And we should do, I started doing them during the pandemic because we couldn't do face to face meetups. So, uh, we have to do that. Any plans on passing through New Mexico this summer? No, but I do have plans for the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta. So, um, yeah. That's the one. Aaron Romano, where are you now? Kansas City, Missouri. Although we're very close to Kansas City, Kansas too. So, uh, yeah. Adventures with Ken and Linda. Enjoy watching your videos and watching you travel the Lewis and Clark Trail. Yeah, and that that actually that now that, that, that now we're officially beginning the Lewis and Clark Trail after St. Louis, Missouri, right? A, a guy from Earth, Robert. How many state capitals left to see? I don't know if you count just seeing them or going inside. I'm just gonna count seeing them, like seeing the Capitol building from outside. I don't think I've been to Oregon. I haven't been to um, I've been to Idaho, I've been to Montana, I've been to uh, the South Dakota. I haven't seen that one. We'll see in a couple of days. Um, there's several. There's several for sure. I, I don't have a database in my in my mind, like uh, exactly how many I'm missing, but I know I'm missing a few. Jeffrey Bartol, yes, take your time traveling. Yes, that, that's that's what I'm trying. 
and uh, traveling Robert how is the barbecue what is your favorite barbecue variety I'm you know I'm that's a controversial question because I'm gonna offend someone if I don't say their barbecue is the best I mean it's circumstantial the one that tasted the best to me was in Texas but I was extremely hungry that day so you can take that with a grain of salt the one that we had today was excellent was definitely top 10 Pappy's in St. Louis the first time was excellent but we had a different thing the second time so I don't know uh, Joe's here I liked it what Illy had she didn't like as much you know your mileage may vary of course like in every barbecue restaurant uh, where else have we had barbecue? Today. Uh, today, that's the one. Today, today was excellent. What's the name? Uh, Jack's, uh, Jack's, I forget the, the rest of the name of the restaurant. Uh, Jack Stack. Jack Stack, yeah. Today was excellent. Yeah. Jack Stack in Kansas City it has to be, um, I mean, top five for sure. If not top three, if not, I mean, it was good. It was good, but it's it's so so subjective. The experience, you know, it's it, it depends uh, how hungry you are, who you're with, how the service was, to you know, many things. But uh, but let me tell you something, Dave. Without any sauce, the burnt ends tasted like almost tasted like like uh, Cuban style masa de puerco. It had they, they had some seasoning that was absolutely fantastic. And um, the marbled pork meat, I mean, melted in your mouth. The burnt ends were, and they had, and that's what we had. We had burnt ends, both a beef and pork. So they had both, and both were excellent. And the sauce, it, has this, it had a smokiness that was to die for. So right now, the, fr the freshest in my memory is Kansas City, so that's what I'm going to go with. Do some here too, you know. Uh, you do short updates on the road. Love those. Yeah, Christopher also. And yes, for the for the for the chief pelican heads, I call them pelican head updates, and that's, I forgot to do one today. By the way, I was going to, but uh, and and I do it in a sense. If you're a chief pelican head and you are where I am and you want to like meet up, um, you know, it's it's easier to to for, for us to have access to each other in a, in a sense. You know, Queen Bear visit Harris Casino, uh, both Kansas. City and Council Bluffs for uh, dinner. <coughs> Very good steakhouses. Also, uh, two train museums in Omaha Council Bluffs. We just passed. I just saw the Kansas Casino as we were passing by a grain elevator here. So, um, well, if we're hungry by by 7 p.m. and Illy is smiling back at me, so maybe that, that's a possibility for tonight. The Harris Casino. Hey, Stephen Loy. Hey, hi to you and Illy. And your mom, enjoy your trip. Thank you so much, Stephen. I know I know you commented earlier, but I just, I'm sorry I didn't get to it. Um, you know you know how it is with this chat, man. It's uh, you see now Nancy Harvey. Thank you for that super sticker. And that's a, 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 a propelling chair around the room. Hmm. Eastern North Carolina barbecue is the, is the best. Is, is that one that is that the one that is kind of vinegar based? I haven't that I haven't had that one yet. So maybe next time. And uh, JJ Southwest, uh, I make some uh, awesome barbecue. My smoked turkey is to die for. Hey, I have never had smoked turkey. Maybe for Thanksgiving this year. We'll see. Was the Kansas City meetup announcement supposed to be a Pelican Head update? No, I, that, that was a, that, that actually that was my first short, <laughs> and uh, actually it was Illy's idea that she told me, you know, you should announce it on, on face on YouTube. And I, she, she, uh, the idea was to do make a, a short video, and I said, you know, let's try this short video it's, 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 um, feature that I've never actually tried before. And lo and behold, half of the people who showed up told me that they showed up because they saw that short so i think that's going to be the way that i'm going to start announcing like time sensitive things from now on yep
Danny O957, hello Robert, we are in Daytona visiting the great state of Florida. We enjoy Daytona, great area, I love Daytona. Uh, uh, there's mom again. Hi, Dylan, Michelle, Ramin, uh, Ramin, Tony, five thousand six, Alicia, and all these excellent friends. Uh, Mr. Roboto, hi, uh, traveling Robert's mom. Big Jim Slate, amen. Red Jaguar one hundred. Blacks actually ships their barbecue and can be ordered online. Really, blacks in uh, that's the one in in Austin, right? Actually. Honorable mention, Salt Lake in Austin was really good too. And I've had some good Florida barbecue too, believe it or not. My home state, so take that with a big grain of salt. But <laughs> uh, yeah. Come back to Detroit. Michelle K. Come back to Detroit. We've got some excellent barbecue here. I'm going to make it back to Detroit. And uh, that's where our friend uh, Remy is from. So, uh, cheap RV living, Texas barbecue is the best. I I really I, I really had some good barbecue in San Antonio. I'm not gonna lie. Um, cheap RV living. Whenever, whenever I see the, your your name, I think of uh, uh, what's his name. Uh, Bob Wells. <laughs> I know he's not you, but... Hey, Remy, there you go. I, I'm upgrading my sink with stainless steel. Uh, be careful with stainless steel sinks. They look great the first day. Then they look great. They still look great, but not so great. Just, you know, my, my one cent, one and a half cents. They, they, I mean... Unless the one that we have is not stainless steel, but they get they get scratched uh, very easily. So uh, yeah, Robin Minkler, Robert, you are missing something when you haven't had smoked turkey. I haven't, I haven't for real. Uh, Robert, have you ever been on the road and pulled over to use your trailer's uh, toilet all the time? Even if I'm at a rest area with toilets. I use my own. It's my toilet. That's like, to me, that's like one of the number one reasons, one of the main reasons to travel with a, with an RV, with your home. You know, you you, you know, for getting ten miles per gallon. You know, towing tow your home behind you. Uh, that's the main reason. Having your own toilet, your own shower, your own bed, your own bed. Even though, uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, Road D Roadhouse Sojourners. No oh, man, I can't see anymore without with my glasses or without. <laughs> uh, we're camping at Sleepy Hollow Campground. Where are you going to be here? I would love to meet up with you and Ely. Sleepy, oh, hold on, I skipped like two lines. My wife and I are in South Dakota in Wow. We are camping at Sleepy Hollow Campground. When are you going to be here? No, we're not gonna be there for another. Oh, it's it's gonna be at least two to three weeks before we make it to to Wall, South Dakota. Uh, when is it that you're flying back? Late uh, June? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll have to figure that one out. There is an awesome bronze statue of Buffalo Bill Cody near the Kansas-Colorado border. Unfortunately, Oh, maybe, maybe on the way back, because I'm thinking of taking I-50, I mean, US-50 on the way back, so, so, that could work out. What kind of, what type of guy's mileage you're getting pulling the Winnebago, 10 to 13, 9 on a bad day, it, you know, that's it. You must go to the Mississippi Gulf Coast, so much fun down there, I've, 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 driven through Biloxi and I kind of drove through that coastline and I parked and I saw the beaches. It was a crummy weather day and I didn't, it was winter and I didn't mean to stay, but yeah, I think, I think it's a great area. I would love to, uh, I would love to go back. And the barbecue debate is on. Yes. <laughs> you know, you open a can of worms when you talk about either pickup trucks or barbecue. 
and there's a couple other things that are kind of kind of worms uh, worthy but the way here's where we are it's a beautiful day here in the neighborhood uh, the sun's coming back out so as, as soon as the live stream is over we might we might go out you know we're here in a distant land and uh, we want to enjoy every minute of it I agree Florida has the best barbecue but then again I'm from Florida hey Uncle Tom's in Miami. Dave's. Well, yeah, Dave's, but Dave's is not from Florida. Oh. Famous Dave's is, is a chain. I mean, we have a Famous Dave's. And whenever I'm in Miami, we order from Famous Dave's all the time. They have pretty good burn sense. Not, I mean, nothing compared to what we had today. But they're pretty good. And they have chicharrones, which I don't know if it's just a Miami local store thing or not. But, hey. Chicharron is, what, what, is pork, pork rinds, right? That, that's what you would say, yeah, Chicharron. Uh, when you're in southwestern South Dakota, try the local favorite. Chislik. What's, what's Chislik? Should I Google that? Would that be a good... No, I'm going to get some Spanish. Chislik. It's a dish consisting of skewer cubes of red meat, usually mutton or, or lamb, although game meat such as venison. Even I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, it sounds, sounds delicious from the Wikipedia description. Anthony Giordano, thank you for that super chat. I came very close to being at the Kansas City meetup with my buddy Jimmy, who lives in Kansas City. Hey, that would have been so great, man. And, but of course, of course, we met in Rochester last year. Uh, and, okay, here we have someone who has lived all over JJ Southwest. I have to say, Texas and North Carolina barbecue are the most flavorful. Though I'm a bomb holder Ger in bomb holder Germany, they had this place that didn't dry rub, that did a dry rub and ribs in a brick oven. Really good. Hey, I I wouldn't be surprised if Germany has some awesome barbecue. As you all know, the best hamburger I've ever had, I had it in Barkhaus in Finland, which is a relatively small town in the middle of, I'm not going to say nowhere because that would be the Lapland, but it's not a big known town in Finland. And at the Oscar, if you're ever in Barkhaus, Finland, at the Oscar, best hamburger I've ever had. Maybe I was really hungry. Maybe I was in the company of great, you know, friends at the time. Uh, you know, our, our friends, uh, Petri Bahakangas, his wife and his friend, and... Uh, you know, it was a great time, and that sometimes that makes the dinner, the, you know, the meal even better. You know, uh, Lori Jones, my husband, forgot to mention we can get you a free stay at Wally World. Yes, Wally World, and Illy and other would like a unique shopping in Berlin. Hmm. That would be great. Should I Google? Hmm. Let me get back to you on that. I would love to do that. Okay. You must go ride that roller coaster and take video as you do. Oh my gosh. I take roller coaster tour of the United States myself and I listen to uh, incorporate into waterfalls and gorgeous views. Well, there's the water, uh, the water, the roller coaster back there. I don't know if they, most roller coasters, believe it or not, they don't allow you to bring cameras on them. So I don't know. But yeah, yeah let me, let me. It keeps going that way. It's a beautiful park. I wish I could show you more. You see all the all the campsites. They have like uh, hedges right next to their tables, so there's a, a a certain amount of privacy, which I like. Okay, hold on. Where's Mr. Roboto? I have to I have to get this this message out. Uh, traveling Robert, the barbecue discussion in New England is a, a equivalent to lobster rolls. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm a, I'm a, 
I'm a fan of the Connecticut style uh, lobster roll, actually, with with butter, a worm with butter. Yeah, Kevin Bentley lived. Uh, here we go. Here's someone who knows. Uh, lived in Texas for 13 years and Kansas City for 17. Both are great, but Ram trucks are best. Oh no! Now you're gonna start the. the I'm, and Chevy trucks are best. What are you talking about? <laughs> Let me reset the chat here and start reading the, 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 the latest ones. Oh, the barbecue is, it keeps going. A, a Cooper all time in Austin, Austin, Texas, the best of all uh, in Central Texas. Uh, <laughs> oh, brother. Uh, now, I, 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 I disagree with you, the Ram Trucks thing. <laughs> thing. Going forward, the next. I love it. I love these discussions. And uh, I heard I, I heard one say that the Rams are great. The drivetrain is the best of all of them. You know the engine, the transmission. The only problem it is that it is surrounded by a Dodge. Is that true? Anybody does that ring true with any of you? Any of you? Okay, that's it. <laughs> we're not gonna. We're gonna gonna. We're not gonna talk about trucks anymore, or barbecue for that matter. Oh, well, barbecue. Are you going to visit Joe's Barbecue in Kansas City? That was probably the best place, that, I mean, the first place we visited in Kansas City. Joe's, the one in the gas station on the Kansas side. And uh, I liked what I had, but what, I, what Ely had wasn't as great. You know, sometimes these places are hit or miss, and uh, it is what it is. Uh, Edmundo Mendez, saludos desde Avondale, Arizona. I gotta say, Toyota is the best. Toyotas are good. I, 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 there's a certain refinement to to Japanese engineering that that I like. I, my mom says greetings to sixty one Caddy on Route sixty six, and uh, I have the sticker. I'm gonna show it again one more time. Just because you're here in the chat. So here it is. This one is going on Mini Tini 1 one of these days. Or who knows? On the next RV, you never know. Traveler, sorry about the barbecue discussion. Hey, you know how it is, man. It, ask Remy. Traveling Robert, I had my brand new Ram truck at a dealer. <laughs> I hope at least 30 times. I hope it's all fixed. You know, what can you do? I almost bought a, a sign today at the store. Uh, what store was it? It was somewhere in the in the city market that I said, it is what it is. It was in the city market. Actually, it was right next door to the, to the Steamboat Arabia. All right, everybody. <laughs> I was going to say goodbye, but I have to read this one. It could have been worse. I could have asked Pineapple on Pizza. Now you have to ask the RV DJ about that one. And then my friend Mark Cormier, formerly from Donalon, Florida, and now from uh, somewhere in Arizona. Uh, Sholo, I believe so. <laughs> no more food talk. <laughs> I agree. Let's talk about uh, travel. Uh, Ramin Pasión, uh, here in Philippines, we have chicken barbecue, and that's what we call inasal, marinated soy sauce and secret herbs. I want to go to Philippines because you have something very similar to our Cuban pork roast, uh, which I believe you call adobo, and uh, I believe it is a very similar recipe, and I want to try your take on that. So, um, Gary Soldan, thank you for that super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you, really appreciate it. And uh, that's all, everybody. 6 p.m. Uh, here in the in the Central Time Zone, 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm not sure it's late in Europe, so um, I'm gonna start uh, wrapping this up. It's been great. It's been great chatting once again with all of you, as it always is. It's almost like having a meetup, you know. In the, but but in, the, in this case, I don't get to see your faces. When we have meetups, I get to see your faces and we get to talk and. Uh, 
and I'm hoping to, to be able to make m a couple more meetups along this road this road trip. Um, I um, I know we did uh, we did uh, Cincinnati, uh, we did St. Louis. Now we did a uh, Kansas City. Great turnout! Thank you everybody for coming. And uh, the next one, I don't know where it's going to be. Uh, if we're gonna be such a short time in Omaha that I don't think I'm gonna do Omaha. But if it is, if anybody is near Rapid City, Rapid City might be a good place for a meetup. If anybody wants to volunteer to to organize it, uh, send me an email, Robert at travelingrobert.com, and uh, I'm Barry eighty one Jones. We should do a group Zoom. I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that and I'm gonna post it um, in the in the in the Patreon and members place. There you go. Man, this was a good beer. Tomorrow I'm going to stop by, uh, by Boulevard and buy another six-pack. Until next week. Uh, where are we going to be next week? I'm just going to announce it. And hopefully, hopefully we have good internet like we did here. Actually, when T-Mobile is better than Starlink, you know that this area has good internet. <laughs> Incredible, yes. Star, I have Starlink up there on the roof, but it's kind of it's been kind of crapping up today. So um, uh, today is the tenth, and we are here next Friday. Most likely, we're gonna be in South Dakota. Maybe Pierre, which I've been reliably informed is pronounced Pierre, not Pierre, like like the French. Uh, like the French hairdresser. So, um, Pierre, not Pierre. Uh, so, everybody, thank you so much for hanging out. And uh, I'll see you next week. Let me show you one more time here. Uh, a roller coaster here at uh, Worlds of Fun. Until next week. I'm riding, riding in my RV whenever I want to be. I should have brought my guitar. Because I'm free in my RV. Thank you. Have a great weekend. See you next Friday. Same time. Different place. Totally different place. Different states. Bye, everybody.